average of almost 95. Ian White will be on stage later on tonight as well. Starting to knit together a few Ooh. more appearances on the European Tour stage, but this should be a good way to start things off. Alan Ridd's 25th on the order of merit. 90. Might require 120. Campbell in position first on 120. Ain't going to go. Ridd's looking 60. to pounce. Coming to require 110. For the hold of throw with 110. Tops. Top. Good. Yeah, nicely Good. done. 110 check out to set a fairly high bar. He's yeah. averaging just over 96 at the moment. It's an absolute chasm oh, between idiot. what Rids is doing. Well, it was Rids who improved when they met in Munich as the game went on and ended up running out a 6 3 oh, winner. But ball. it looks oh. like Matt Campbell might be gaining some revenge and in an even more emphatic manner here. Well, he's just pulled off a 13 dart break of throw. This is a potential 11 dart hold of throw. Two darts at tops once again. Good. And this time, Good. learning his lessons Back from leg four and, and taking full first. advantage Game. in leg six. Just seems to have lost his way in the scoring oh. stakes though, doesn't he? Just at the wrong time, just when he was closing in. And as that has happened, Rids has made his move and a oh, timely one as well. Rids has clearly stepped up, but Campbell has tailed off a little bit. And it might be enough to swing this one Rids's way. Unless Campbell can find something special in this one. 54 plays 67. Rids up first. This time he gets the single 14. No mistake this time, but he can't find the double 20. The 180 has crafted this chance. Matt Campbell. One dart, a double 16 for the match. Get and he only up. needs one, and you hear from the raw Matt Campbell, delighted to get some revenge on Callan Rids. Slevin had a bit of an ordeal to get here. Two 6-5 wins, Luke Peters, Sean Wilkinson. Gurney here, though, really oh, stamping his authority five. on this leg. Looking to quickly re-establish this two-leg lead. Two 6-5s in qualifying. Is not a good sign because that's exactly what Robert Owen did. 140. And he lost this 56. afternoon to Stefan Belmont. Gurney loves double 18 these days. Yeah, loves it even more back. now. Just looks in a really good Somebody place, doesn't he? Where of certain shots. Now he's still a good double 16 shooter, maybe not as good as he was three or four years ago. But he's become a better double 18 shooter. Probably because he's leaving it a lot more. Yeah. But being aware of what is working in the practice room and taking that into these matches makes him a very good, aware player of what's happening. Now then. Got the Damon, he the Damon yeah. Hetter. <laughs> well, he went for it. And I think he had every right to put it that way let's find out let's find out if that's fired up Gurney a little bit more you never know it might well do so trouble 17 well we'll never know how fired up he was oh, I love that we're talking Gurney about that these days 25. more than ever because ordinarily before it was always go for it never not go for the ball yeah, but now the people are them. genuinely perplexed as to what to do it works out for Slevin there it's 4-3 now, but Gurney retaining the break. In his mindset already, as all good players have. Now, it's not worked out for him there. 96. That's OK. But that's OK. Because he's got a little bit of a cushion, and it would be a potential break of throw anyway, so there's no massive pressure on Gurney hey, on the Slevin throw. Darryl that single one third. was a real result for Darrell. Now, which side does he want to go? I think the left side is better here. It's only a, a mini shuffle, but he's decided to go the other way. Can he bend it like Daryl? Around his own shot? Not quite. 40, yeah. yeah, well, treble 18? No, yeah, to leave double 18. <laughs> I mean, there you go. So, missing the treble 20, I think, was no disaster. Not anymore, because... Based on what we've seen on double 18 in this match oh, from Gurney, 45. this is game set in the match. Well, yeah, the evidence that has preceded this shot suggests it's going. At least on this visit. Game shot. And Man as sure as 
Night follows day, really. Daryl Gurney finds double 18 once again. Right foot. If you're going past that, then you may have issues with the joints. But when I'm talking about recovery, you get yourself into a darts throwing position. It's not natural. Dart players have got to recover and give their bones a chance to rebound. Well, 33 off leaves 31, that leaves 24. And he's going to go back for double six because it's the only double he's hitting, but he is hitting it. I think he's just heard that Gurney hit five double 18s and he wants to go one better on double six. May not get a chance. Now, that's an interesting decision because it's a blocker dart, 20 for tops. 74, Martin, you require 12. Didn't need to go in that order. Oh, hey, double six the comes to the rescue the on dart three. This is pretty much his local tournament, yeah. ridiculously. <laughs> Certainly closer than any of the players' championship events and indeed oh, the European tours, pretty much. I think I heard that from quite a few people who live in the southeast of England. Yeah. It, it doesn't feel like it's that far away. Such a lovely process that he's got with that, that drawing of the dart, getting it into the set position. It's a beautiful thing to watch. That's a bit erratic. And that's an invitation for Smith to find a little bit of magic that might galvanise his chances in this contest. It's the sort of finish you quite fancy him taking because he hits so many treble 20s. But he, that's a blocker dart as well. He's not made life easy for himself. Could have gone to the 18s there. Try to get two trebles. Leaves you 32. 100. We don't get the 18. Go to the ball and leave the two daughter. We don't have to stay stubborn on the 60 there. Clear Maka needs fours. Chance 72. Smith. He must Roger click double top 60. or double 10 this time. Otherwise, the door will close a little bit more. At least this time, he gets two darts at a double. He's only been getting one at the end of combinations. And the second dart makes a difference. Not only is it his first leg, it is against the dart. Enough to get to a finish. 58, Ross record 170. Doesn't have to go for it. But he'd like to eat a big chunk out of it. 58. He will hate that. He's still in three dark range. At worst, from 170 there, you want to leave 95. 65. Russia require 112. Big this moment. Nist now to save the match. And that's a safe 20. Wait, it's, it's, radar is not calibrated on that trouble 20 in this game. Martin, you and it allows Martin Clearmacher his first chance to wrap up the match. Match darts. 60. Does not take them. Plenty of encouragement from the Belgian public for the Englishman. And I get the feeling that if he clicks this, he will give them something back. Let's find out. That one's clean, concise, and hit. You can see sometimes. He's missing low a lot of the time. He's trying to compensate, and he's overcompensating and sailing so high. Had a two or three darts like that in the last few legs. Good Great. adjustment. Superb recovery, that. Oh, that is brilliant. Because he's thinking 105 plus in that spot. And when he gets the one, he's thinking, oh, boy, what I would give for a 1-2-1, and he gets it. Clear Macker, that 110 is makeable. He's already had a 118 checkout in this match. Double 11. 62, Agonizing miss and clear Maka. It's another chance to wrap it up. He has missed two match darts on double 14. He should get another. It's a double top. And he takes it. Martin clear Maka with his first career win over Ross Smith. His first win on the European Tour stage this year. Well, let's see if he can leave himself a two-darter after nine darts here. Needs to go some. Well, he may well do, you know. Oh, he has done. 
He's left himself 56. Third leg in succession that he's got into this position. Can he find the finishing that he craves? Oh, well, he is going to get a go, and I wasn't sure whether that was the case for a little moment. It's a wonderful setup shot from Christoph Ratajski. Double top then for Anderson. Tried everywhere else. And double top does work for him. So it is the 12 data we were promised by all that brilliant scoring. Could have gone to the bullseye there, but in the end gets a treble 20, so it doesn't matter. So deadly on that treble 19, Christoph Ratajski. Seventy-six. Can we require one hundred and thirty-five? Well, if he gets the chance to go for the bullseye, it's a pretty good marker. Slammed into it. Two. he requires sixty. That looks okay for him. That looks pretty bad for him. Forty. Difficult for Christoph to fire a dart underneath there. Had to pick a side and couldn't manage to execute this for 4 1. And you have to say it's deserved. Gary Anderson, just for once, pinning a double first time of asking. Sick flag, Gary to throw first. Yeah, two missed darts at double 20 there for Ratajski. But this barrage of scoring from Gary Anderson is such that could break lesser players than Ratajski. Just end up throwing your hands up and going, I can't live with this. Yeah, and sooner or later he's going to run out of time and he's going to run out of legs as well. Anderson with the cushion. Oh, it is night and day compared to what we saw in the Netherlands from Gary Anderson. Unrecognisable. 72, Gary, you require 50. Tyski not even down to a finish. Take your pick, Gary. 18 for double 16. Appears to be his go-to double at the minute. He's on the sick line. And he's pinned yeah, it yeah. last couple of times of Askin. And it looks first. like a seven-year wait is coming to an end. For miles ahead. And he missed numerous chances to win it. If he were to come back from this position, it would arguably be even more unlikely than the seven. comeback that Wright produced against him a week ago. Well, Ratajski's averaged on the Pro Tour this year, 97, and he's nowhere near that today. He really simply has to be around about that ballpark figure just to stay competitive in this one, but he's nowhere near it. 99, Gary, you've won 102. And Anderson, six darts from here. Yeah, he's got the treble. Tops. 62. Match start missed. But there are plenty more on the way. Question is, how many does he need? He's missed 14 darts a double in this game. He's still averaging 40. close to a ton. But the scoring has been almost unstoppable. And Gary Anderson would not be stopped tonight. Because it's here in Visa in Belgium where Gary Anderson wins his first Euro Tour game for seven years. He's in a spot right now. And what he's got to do is continually dip his bread. Bullseye again. Nice. Well, the side this time. <laughs> Two James great Ryan attempts. 55. And he might lose both legs. Yeah, punished in the first leg when Wade took out 74. He's now looking at tops once again. Double 10. James Wade. 35. Now, that might be Ryan, the worst dart I've ever seen James Wade throw at double top. <laughs> that was so far away for him. Somebody's broken the machine. But is Raymond breaking James? 17. Maybe he's unbreakable. Require 20. Well, these missed opportunities for Raymond van Barneveld are beginning to stack up. Double 10 inside for double 5 for Wade for a 2-0 lead. And just wonder whether he'll bust his score here. No, yes, he has. Yeah, it was the right thing Raymond to do. Eight. Raymond can't believe he's coming back. Side foot to the hockey. Yes, and in for 1-1. One, one. To use your phrase, Rob, Raymond by hook or by crook. Yeah. Okay. He's made amends and he's got down to a finish of 1-6-4. Oh, 
Now that's the equivalent of hauling oh, a putt for about 60 that. feet for 164, about 3%, maybe even 2%. Well, we are on course for what could be and what perhaps should be a fourth break of throw with Van Barneveld looking at a ton. 94. Ravenry by 100. Just stay straight and get the weight of the dart right. He'd love two darts at tops. Yep. Beautiful dart from Raymond. Good. It doesn't get any better than that. Yeah, Absolutely Bar class from Raymond Van Barneveld, who... The ball that the trebles seem to be just eluding him, and Van Barneveld, six darts from here for a 5-2 lead. Uh, James is the mayor 58. of the town where you can have the lesser average and win. But when you're averaging 84 against Barneveld, you are putting yourself in the corner. Oh, He's going to need Barneveld to come 96. up dry. Yeah, and he needed that treble 20 as well just to give him a chance. But Van Barneveld here. Well, similar situation. This time he got the treble 20 and it leaves double eights. Good and seven. that is 5 2. And. Good game at all. It was terrible. But then it was a decent semi final between these two guys. Yeah. I was just devastated I wasn't in it. Here were the days when James used to have a grey shirt on. That's how long ago it was. 140. But another decent fight here is Wadey. He certainly is. And this would be one of the breaks that he needs. And it might just start making Barney feel a little bit nervous. No, he would love a shot at the ball here. Yeah, despite the demeanour that Barney's been displaying in the main. One, two, three is as easy as ABC for James Wade. Treble 18. Can't find a way through this time. Oh, it's a bad dart, you know. Raymond Drew, 112. Sitting on 86. Even if he gets the single 18 until he's 68, he is counting on Raymond missing. A double top. 72. That's a rare miss at the outer ring in this match. So James hitting that single one now. Let's see how costly it is. Treble 15 to leave tops. Barney ready to pounce and make his move. 45. And Barney having missed Raymond one Raymond match start 40. at double 20. Returns with three clear attempts just inside double 10 Wade's favorite but today it's Barney's and Raymond van Barneveld comes through this clash of the Giants the pressure is greater and it's hard to deal with and that's coming from Michael van Gogh in the three-time world champion and one of the greatest players the sports ever seen even he feels it and I think it's magnified for the players who only get that one or two or even three games a year in their home oh, arena. I mean, we've got one Belgian tournament a year. This is enormous for Belgian darts and for Kim, and it will be for Dimitri tonight against Ian White. I remember his game with Peter Wright at the European Championship oh, in Hassel. It lives rent free in my brain. It was an amazing game, but he must have been shattered at the end of that. Double top. Good. Evans is now 3 0 up and showing plenty. Is in the locker. But right now, any one off game, if you average 96, 97, you've got a great chance of winning. Kim's proximity to the inner ring, though, it's been subpar so far. That's much better. He can build on that, he can be aggressive. He'd be disappointed with that 140 in the end, but it's encouraging for him that he's found something. But here's his problem. He's 4-0 down. Ball there, I cannot the remember an atmosphere first. like this in my European tour career. 99. Kim Hybrex must win six legs. I think this would be even more ridiculous than the victory against Van Gogh in last year. I have to agree. But He's, what, what is this going to do for Evans? He's been knocking on the door so much this year without anybody answering it. He's actually got blood on his knuckles. And he would relish a crack at the defending champion Sick. in Chisnell, because that's the kind of game he lives for. But I think the exposure of playing Sulevich in Graz has done him the world no, of good, so. because he's in come into the bare pit once again and just looks ultimately brilliantly ready. 
Well, let's not forget, Ricky Evans is a two-time Euro Tour final. When he was making those finals, he was moving on up in the world of darts, getting into all the big TV events. And the two people that beat him are playing 59. tonight, Gurney and Ian White. Double top for a first leg. Double ten. The fight back has not quite started, and it might be ended right now. Match dart. Okay. Six Shot. nil. Rapid Turn Ricky Evans. Evans. Kim Hybrex is stunned in front of his home crowd. Should start on the 19s. He's not. Well, I think we're learning a little bit more about Dalibor. Evidently a fan of double 12. Evidently slow and methodical. Not quite sure. He's A plus on his darts mathematics. 30. This weekend, though, for Dobie, another illustration of the demands on his time and his energy as well, I suppose, given this 30 night weekend routine 59. that he's found himself in. Not, not really heard Chris complained about it too much, no. to be fair to him. He did say he was a little bit tired, and that's understandable. Ooh. Doesn't like that one. Might like complain about that one. No score. Well, Smollett keeps chipping away, and if Dobie misses inside on double five next time, then it might be interesting. What's on the 11 data in this leg, Chris Dobie? Left 96 after nine, but he's thrown another nine darts since then. And he's still 44. mucking about on double Richard five. 10. Yeah, Smolik mucking about with a 44 there as well to get down to 145. Dobie puts him Christo. out of his misery in this particular leg, and we are level again at two apiece. It's going to afford him many more opportunities unless Dobie starts having more legs where he misses handfuls. 56. Better. A lot better. Over to the 13s. Oh. 139, because you've got 54. That would have been an interesting leave. He's on the Doesn't matter anyway. No, and on trouble there just to give himself the best possible chance, even though Dobie's still not down to a finish before this visit. Well, the doubles haven't been much of a problem. Hello, the trebles have been for Smollett. If this first one sails in the treble, it'd be no surprise to see him take out the biggest finish of the game so far. But he needs treble 17 now. And it is the trebles that are proving his undoing. Chris Dobie will get another chance to close out the match. 91. Yeah, Smollett once again hoping that Dobie fluffs his lines, this time looking at Shanghai on the 20s. That's the easy bit. Um, the trouble is elusive once again. 100. Three darts in hand looking at double A. You think this 16. is 5-4? The best part of his game. Well, Never looked convincing, did he? Once he missed that first attempt at double eight, you, you never really felt totally comfortable with the idea that he would finish things off. As it is, Chris Dobie is looking to finish things off now. And I think Chris Dobie will be glad that that one is over, in all honesty, because it could have been very, very interesting indeed. How candidate for that uh, particular category. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Dimitri's got the arsenal to potentially have the performance of the day, which will be a wonderful crescendo for these fans. But I've got to point to Gary Anderson's scoring performance. It was extraordinary, considering he missed a lot of doubles. But I'm not going to forget about what Bradley Brooks did. I thought the first game of the day he showed a lot of metal. Yeah. I think he was excellent, especially with the early exits that he's had on the European Tour as well. Absolutely. Ian White looking at treble 19 for double 12. 1-4-1 one, one, the checkout, double 12 just inside. 29. 
He's out of his seat. He's animated. And so too the crowd. Vandenberg, double eights. And that's what he wants. There's the conductor. Spectacular at over 120. Well, Ian White threatened the 1-4-1. One, He's now looking at a 1-6-1 one, one for parity at two apiece. Going for the bullseye. Yeah, he doesn't leave. No. Well, Vandenberg on 1-4-5. I think it would have been a tad disrespectful had he done so. Especially with shooting like this from Vandenberg. Well, this is a hair-making leg. Both of them looking for massive shots. Both missed the target. But it's double four. four. This is a huge dart. Ian misses, and if Dimitri hits, he will hit the Dimitri halfway required. point and bring everybody back to decibel level 100. Vandenberg looking at double 14, inside for double seven for a 3-1 yeah. lead. And Ian White punished there, missed darts at the bullseye. And this is so far, hasn't he? He's got another one now, if he needs to be aggressive, and he may well have to be aggressive as well. Yeah. Because Vandenberg has rattled in a ton 80, that's his fourth. But well, it was this Third, finish that actually yeah. broke Ian White's heart at the UK Open. It was Gezi Price that hit it. And Ian can't find that second treble. Now 77 was found in the previous leg by Dimitri in three darts to take the 4-1 lead. That's 27. This is 32. And the lead stretches even more. White has averaged 96 for this game, and he's being closed out by some really timely stuff from the Belgian captain. Well, it's another break of throw, and he's going to have to produce something spectacular if he's to keep himself in the hunt for title number four. It's going to have to be something out of the ordinary, something of the ilk of David Copperfield plus David Blaine combined. 70. By the looks of it. Especially now, Dimitri has got the winning line in his sights. 121. This might well be performance of the day, considering the pressure that was put on him for many reasons. Yeah, I mean... He's had a lot to deal with, Dimitri van der Berg, actually, with the expectation, as you say. Ian White still having something to say, as you would fully expect him to do. But Vandenberg looking at 105 to finish things off in style. 86 away. So 54-32. And he gets the 54. Double 16 for a 6-1. 73. This is a huge ask to save the match. He's not going to do it. And deep in his gut, he will think that that will be his last dart in this tournament. Dimitri, Dimitri for the win. Second bice at the cherry on double 16. Inside for double eight. Two match darts have come and gone. Three match darts have come and gone. And he's now looking at double four. And this time, Dimitri Vandenberg can milk the applause and take the acclaim of the crowd here in Visa.